Welcome. I'm Doug Giesbrecht bringing you News Bites with a Difference. Today's news reports with prayer, so we make a difference. Two reports dated February 11th, first from Fox News in Washington. Al-Qaeda's embrace of violence may be undermining the terrorist group's support in the Muslim world. The nation's top intelligence official said this on Thursday. The question becomes, are we reaching a tipping point to witness the decline of this radical behavior, said Director of National Intelligence Mike McConnell at a House Intelligence Committee hearing. We don't know, but we are watching it very closely. Most victims of al-Qaeda bombings and attacks are Muslims. In Iraq, the violence perpetrated against Iraqis by insurgents associated with al-Qaeda pushed local tribes to turn against the group and has led to improved security. And the same pattern may take hold elsewhere. And in addition, from the Times newspaper yesterday, Al-Qaeda in Iraq faces an extraordinary crisis. Last year's mass defection of ordinary Sunnis from Al-Qaeda to the U.S. military created panic, fear, and the unwillingness to fight. The terrorist group's security structure suffered total collapse. These are the words not of Al-Qaeda's enemies, but of one of its own leaders in Anbar province. A second document from north of Baghdad from a local emir goes on to describe how his force of 600 shrank to fewer than 20. More than 80,000 Sunnis have joined the tribal groups of concerned local citizens that have helped to eject al-Qaeda from swaths of western and northern Iraq, including much of Baghdad. And now... This report from Moscow. Iran has started building a second atomic power plant near the border with Iraq. Iran's ambassador, Russia, was quoted on Friday. And now from Tehran. Iran received a fourth delivery of nuclear fuel from Russia on Sunday to power its first atomic power plant in Tehran. The Bush Air plant is expected to become operational in mid-2008. Please, let me join you in prayer right now so that together, in agreement, we can make a difference. In Jesus' name, Father God, we come to you praising you for your handiwork in the lives of so many people in Iraq because it's your desire to free them from intimidation, to free them from domination, to free them from oppression that's put in place through organizations like the Taliban, like Al-Qaeda. And we pray, Father, for your continued release of people from spiritual oppression. And we pray, Father, for this nuclear fuel that's going to Iran. We pray, Father, that, that you will ensure this fuel is used for peaceful purposes to prosper that great nation. And, Father, we pray for the lost that are separated from you because they've refused to believe on the true Lord, Jesus Christ, the Savior of all who call on him in faith. We pray, Father, for dreams, visions, miracles, signs, wonders, acts of the Holy Spirit to convince them of the truth, and that the truth might set them free. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining together for News with a Difference. As you lift these bites to God in your private prayer time, may God bless you.
We produce new bites daily, Monday through Friday, every week. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow in cyberspace with news as it happens.